So lately, I've been uh, thinking and reading a lot about adaptive leadership. And this was uh, a friend recommending that I explore this topic because when he read my ebook, he realized that a strategic narrative uh, is about mobilizing people for uh, an opportunity that is bigger than, a com than the community that they belong to. And he thought that that's also the role and the goal of adaptive leaders. Adaptive leadership is about mobilizing people to go through complex change and have a bigger impact. Might not exactly say the right definition, but that's basically the idea. And so I've been thinking a lot about this and what, uh, what, what adaptive leadership is based on is a difference between two kinds of problems. Uh, one, one type of problems are called technical problems and, and they are adaptive problems. And we, when we think about technical problems, we think about problems that have a solution that is already known. For instance, your, your roof is leaking. You need a new roof. You can get somebody to come and fix it. And um, pretty much they can guarantee how much time it's going to take, how much it's going to take, what material. And in the end, the, the problem is fixed um, in, in a pretty, um, let's say, definitive way. <laughs> Hopefully your roof, your roof doesn't leak, but we know the answer. That's the key idea. Adaptive problems, adaptive challenges uh, are a challenges for which we don't know the answer yet. We it it's a it's a very complex, much much more complex type of challenge. For instance, um, global warming and and climate change is a is an adaptive challenge. But not all problems are either adaptive or technical, technical or adaptive. They they can be a, a little bit of both of them. Uh, say you are implementing a new software system in your company. Uh, the technical solution is probably fairly straightforward. There may be some customization, some development to make, but but that's something that can be managed. The adaptive side of this challenge is a lot more complex. You have to drive people through change. And in exploring what adaptive leadership is and adaptive change is, I realized that this is actually what building a strategic narrative is for. In fact, this morning I was reflecting on this topic and I thought, yeah, actually building a strategic narrative is building the, the leadership layer of, uh, and, and the communication layer of um, adaptive leadership. So that's, uh, that's, a new, that's a new aspect that I didn't explore before. See, I'm constantly thinking about how to shape the theory that I put forth uh, with a strategic narrative. I always add to it. And in my model, there is a dimension that I call the opportunity dimension. There is an exercise you can, you can do to explore that dimension that I call the opportunity story. And that, that opportunity dimension is about embarking your whole community towards an opportunity that is better for everyone, that is greater than us. And the way you frame the opportunity most effectively is in saying what the world around you, what the context could look like if we were to achieve the opportunity. And opportunity comes from, uh, the word opportunity comes from the Latin word opportum, which means a, a chance for a ship to reach the harbor safely at a given time because there is a window. Uh, maybe the weather is getting more quiet and the storm ends and the, and the ship can safely go back to, to harbor. So the ship is in the sea and then gets to a harbor so the, a better place for the ship to just rest and, and be safer while the storm you know, is, is happening uh, outside. And so when we think about the opportunity dimension and, and when we think about um, adaptive leadership, uh, 
there is the same aspect. And what strategic narrative could bring to people who do, who do adaptive leadership is the capacity to frame what the world could look like. And I, I use very intentionally here, could look like uh, when we get, when we achieve that opportunity. I use the word, I use the verb could in that tense because we're not sure. And that's one of the main characteristic and difference between the story and the narrative. The story has happened already and we know the end. There is a beginning, there is a middle and an end and we know how it ends. And a, a narrative has a beginning, has a middle, but no, um, no certain end. We, we don't know yet. So that's why I believe that there is a strong relationship between the use of narratives and the context of adaptive challenges and adaptive leadership. So one of the things you could do if you are in, if you recognize yourself as, a, as an adaptive leader and, um, and if you see yourself in the situation of leading adaptive change, which was one of the hardest type of change possible, you could frame your narrative with that dimension, the opportunity dimension, and, and describe what the world could look like if, if, you, if you think that the, the change, the adaptive change that you're working on is going to get people, people um, in a better place. So what, what would it sound like? What would it sound like? Well, it would probably sound something like something like this. When we will have uh, gotten there, when we will have evolved our company, when we will have, um, uh, so I'll, I'll get the climate change problem, when we will have solved our, our climate change issue and we'll have, we will have adapted to new circumstances on, on the planet, we will see cleaner environment, different new behaviors, less consumption maybe. We will see um, technology that doesn't hurt um, our planet so much. You, you can make the list yourself and I'm just making them up you know, from the top of my head. But here, my point here, the idea is to use your imagination to describe a world that does not exist yet, but that we are, we are gearing towards. That's how you mobilize people to get you on the journey of, of evolution and adaptation is that by painting, trying to paint a picture that is evolutionary, that, that could be, uh, but we're, we're not certain. And so there is a drastic difference here uh, in the use of the kind of story we, we tell here. That story is not for sure. Like if I want to, uh, if I want you to, Consider buying my, um, uh, let me think quickly about a technical service here, my, my plumbing service, right? We know what plumbing is. We know how it works. You know, everything is standardized. There, there are actually high, highly precise standards for plumbing. I can guarantee you that after I work, say, in your house, on your bathroom, um, I can describe exactly and, and give you a guarantee for how this bathroom is, is going to work. And you can, you can make me accountable for this result. And that's, that's how it works in the case of, um, of technical challenges, technical problems that we solve. So in that case, you may use a story that describes how it's going to start, what's going to happen in the process in the middle, and how it's going to end. It's going to end with you very happy with a new bathroom or a fixed bathroom and you're going to have no leak <laughs> and this bathroom is going to be really the one you wanted and, and, and you're going to use it every day with uh, great satisfaction. And, that, and that's the end of the story right there and we're done. In adaptive challenges, uh, maybe I want you to uh, say... Uh, help you reduce your water consumption in your house because you live in a place where water is scarce. scarce. Actually, we, we're all faced with that, with, and more all faced with that challenges. And, and maybe you live in a place where water is really a precious commodity. It's really scarce. So we, we, you, we need to adapt. We need to help you change your behavior. Will you succeed at this? I can give you principles. I can give you methods. I can give you 
um, ideas, I can try to change your mindset, but it's really up to you to adapt to this new context, right? So will I be able to predict for sure that you will that you you will you will re, you will reduce your consumption by by using by by maybe um, taking shorter showers by uh, using less water when you when you do your your dishes uh, by stopping to to um, uh, to water your lawn. I don't know. It's up to you. And really, that change depends on your capacity to overcome your fear of losing maybe your status because you know now your lawn doesn't look as great as before and your house is not the most beautiful house in the neighborhood so the opportunity story is is an example the opportunity the exercise of the opportunity story in the opportunity dimension of the strategic narrative canvas is an example for how to frame an adaptive uh, challenge and so uh so i hope this helps you also get to okay what is strategic narrative for it really applies in a powerful way to solve complex challenges that require to mobilize people to come together and work on the solution together for for a um for the type of of of, of problems that don't really have certainty in their solution. What, what examples do we have in business? It may be a merger for a company. It may be launching a new product that we've never, uh, the kind of new product we've never launched before. Maybe it's a new category of product. I remember um, you know, a few years ago, I helped one of my clients who's a cosmetic, cosmetic company uh, launch into devices like electronics so there was a big cultural adaptation here no one knew no one understood really what the business model was until they really came together to explore to test to make some mistakes and to finally understand what would be the levers to make it successful so that was the adaptive part it was an example of an adaptive challenge here for you what, what else could it be it could be um, onboarding a new business partner that's an adaptive challenge right there because you can you can make assumptions you can know this person but you don't really know you know what role you're exactly going to play and how it's going to how the chemistry is going to work out until you're actually um you know in the same in the same business together all right i hope this helps shape your understanding of what a strategic narrative uh can do for you i hope this helps as always i welcome your questions uh, I, I wish you well, and I, I look forward to uh, connecting with you uh, through your comments, questions, or requests uh, to know more about uh, the theory behind strategic narrative. Thank you.